So once you purchase Divi AI, what you need to do is to come over here to Divi, and then you wanna go to theme options and make sure you enter your API keys. This is very important because this is what allows Divi AI to work on your website. And to do that, you wanna come over to this tab called updates, and this is where you enter your username and API key. With that done, you are now ready to go. Now, before I get started, I'd like to remind you that Divi has a summer sale and uh, there's a 40% off on Divi AI. Plus, I'm also giving you my bonus. If you purchase Divi AI using my affiliate link in the video description below, I'm also going to give you access to a lifetime membership onto Divi University. This is a platform which is going to have courses, it's going to have child themes, tools, templates, and so on. And this is going to be your one stop for learning about everything Divi. Next, you want to come over now to your blog post. So you want to go to add new post. And for our blog title here, now you need to do a bit of keyword research here for this to really work. So I'm going to say benefits of eating sourdough bread. The next step now is to come over here to the Divi Builder. So I'm going to say use Divi Builder. Next, I'm gonna click on build from scratch. And then I'm gonna click on this plus button here to add my row. Now with that now, the next step now is to add our text module. So I'm gonna search for it like that and then click on text. Okay, so we have two options here. We can generate with uh, AI, but what we really need here is to come over here and hover in this content area, then click on Divi AI options. This is going to give us more options for us to create our blog post. So I'm gonna click on this icon here and say, write with AI. All right, so now we have an option which says paragraph, but what we really need here is a blog post, which is right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, select blog post. Next, it's asking me, what I should write about or what, uh, what's the blog post about. So I'm gonna say benefits of sourdough bread. Now over here, and this is also very, very important, don't go ahead and click on generate text. What you wanna do is to come over here and click on guide me. So this now is where we can set our tone. Do you want it to be creative? Do you want it to be informative? Do you want it to be funny? So here I'm gonna say informative because this is quite serious. And then over here, must use keywords. Again, if you're doing a, a blog post, these keywords is what you're trying to let Google pick up as you are creating your blog post. So my keyword here is very important and it needs to be sourdough bread. Okay, so with that now, we need to specify our length. So here I'm gonna say 5,000 words because this is uh, pretty much um, the, uh, the length of blog posts, which are picked up by Google, sometimes can be longer, but 5,000 is what I'm going for. And then over here on added context. So I'm gonna remove this because I don't want any context. I want this to be just about the benefits of sourdough bread. All right, so uh, over here we have the language prompt. I'm okay with English, so this is fine. The next step now is to click on generate text. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So now we're going to go through the process of um, generating the text for our blog post. But here are some things which are very, very important. If you use this as it is, and someone used the same keyword, chances are, in fact, I haven't tried it, but chances are it's going to be pretty much the same uh, sort of text unless you go in and really refine it. But what you wanna do is to use this as your starting point. Because if you use this as the actual article, this doesn't really work. But anyway, so let's take a look here and see what we have. So if I uh, take a look here, we can see that this is quite uh, lengthy and uh, it's full of information. So as I mentioned a moment ago, this is where you want to go in and put your touch of um, the subject matter. So in this case, of course, if you're doing a sourdough uh, baking blog, you definitely need to uh, know a lot about sourdough bread. So this is where you go in and tweak a few things, reword a few things to just make it more unique to you. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead now and um, add and say use this text, but before you do that, you can also come here and say improve with AI. So I'm gonna click on that. So this is where you can rephrase, you can lengthen, you can shorten it, you can simplify, paraphrase, and so on. But in our case here, I'm happy with how, how it is. You can also make it better, by the way. If you're not happy with this and you've read uh, through this, you want to refine it a bit more, you can go ahead and rewrite to, uh, uh, this prompt and this is going to give you a totally different article. Okay, so enough with that, let's go ahead and say, use this text. So at this point, you're probably thinking, well, I've got my blog post, everything is good, so 
pretty much I'm okay. Well, that's not correct because this is rare now. You need to make sure that this article here is really optimized. Now, how do we check that? I have a tool called Rank Math. This is an SEO plugin, very, very powerful. I will also leave a link to that in the video description below, uh, just in case you want to try it out on your own blog. Okay, so what you wanna do now is to click over here on this little icon. Once you install the plugin, uh, this is integrated into Divi, so it's very, very powerful. So here now, we want to optimize this. You can see here, our, our preview says four out of 100. So this is not good. We really need this to be highly optimized for SEO. So first of all, I'm gonna focus on my keyword. So I'm gonna go in and remember, my keyword is sourdough bread. So now it has done an analysis of my blog post and we can see here, there's a few things that I've done correct. We have sourdough bread in my title. Uh, here I can see that. And already by adding my, um, my uh, keyword, it's gone to 49 out of 100. We're doing great. So the goal here is to make sure that our score here is quite high to make sure that our article here is highly optimized. So to add our images, you wanna click on Enable Visual Builder. So now I'm gonna click on this plus button and uh, let's search for my image module and then select it. So I'm also going to use Image AI here, generate with AI, and this is a photo, and this is sourdough bread on a table. How about that? Now I'm gonna say aspect ratio. In fact, I'm gonna to go to custom size and I'm gonna go with uh, 1280 by 720. So that's the size I want for my image. I'm gonna now go ahead and click on generate. So there we go, we have our sourdough bread here. Now this doesn't look realistic. So I'm gonna go and say generate more like this. So you have to keep trying here uh, until you get the images that uh, look realistic to you. So let's have a look at this one. Okay, we're getting somewhere. I'm gonna say generate four more because I don't like those four. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go with this one here. I'm gonna say, use this image. And in a moment, the image now is going to be added onto our blog post. So you can add more images if you want. But uh, in my opinion, the images area here is something that needs to be improved. Um, they don't look realistic sometimes, but of course with AI, these things are going to be improving as time goes on. Now, Elegant Themes has a special discount. Right now it's a summer sale. So if you're um, watching this video at this moment, go ahead and take advantage of this. There's 40% off. And this is a great opportunity to get DVAI. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.